Hello, this is Chris Maynard from CMIVFX.com, and I'm going to take you through a little tour of the CMIVFX.com website by getting you started with how to navigate the store, the player, some of the features that we've just recently added, and some talk about some of the features that we're adding soon. By default, when you come to the CMIVFX website, you'll see that this typical layout is always available. You have two categories amongst a bunch of categories that have been unfolded so that you can see them quickly. The reason why we do this is that these are the most common categories used by people on a daily basis. Uh, most of our customers are return customers. We have a 92% return rate, so they come for the latest and greatest videos most of the time. A lot of the people also want to upgrade to a subscription plan because they're such frequent users. To do so, you could just simply hit the Buy Now button for the 299 plan. This will allow you to get all the videos in our library, plus anything new that comes out for the year of your subscription. We're noticing, since our subscriptions are a little bit older than a year now, that 80% of subscribers are renewable subscribers. That's actually a pretty good number, a little bit higher than we expected. Also, if you're looking for multiple user subscriptions, this is where you'll get them here. Go ahead and type the amount of users that you want and hit the Buy Now button. This will allow that many concurrent users to be available. If you're a facility, such as a large facility for film visual effects, or maybe you are a college, you can go ahead and purchase users as many as you like whenever you want, and you can assign them to specific users and give them a time range. If you want to give one user access for a month and then give that same user account to someone else for a month, you can actually be able to invest in a little bit less of the amount of users and you get more for your money. So this gives you just one opportunity to uh, save a couple dollars when you're using multiple user subscriptions. Again, you only have that control in the multiple user subscriptions and not in the single user. The single user is assigned to one user account for the entire lifetime of the account. You can, however, buy a minimum of two users for the subscription account and go ahead and cycle them on and off for as many users as you'd like. Now, some of the navigation controls, you'll notice we have a little helpful hints section down here. This helpful hints section was designed to help you navigate the store as well as possible. And uh, the entire store was built in HTML5, and it was the only thing like it of its kind when we first started uh, a year ago. And you'll notice that we've accomplished quite a bit since then, and we're growing exponentially. Now, we have an entire back-end system where we control your user accounts and information and statistics that we can't actually show you or give, it, give you access to. But we can show you some of the stuff that you have available to you by taking you through a registration process. Uh, the very first thing that you'll need to know, though, is when you're navigating the store, you might want to look at some of the products before you even register. And that's fine. Um, we suggest that you go ahead and take a look at everything we have, and then you can register, or you can register first. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's free to register. So what you might want to do to navigate the store a little bit more quickly is you can go ahead and use the O, C, U, and D commands. Now, these are hotkeys on your keyboard. By hitting the O hotkey, it unfolds every single inside of our library. So that's like an open command. And by hitting the C key, you actually close everything up to help organize your scene a little bit. If I select one of these items, and I can cycle down by hitting the D hot key on the keyboard, allowing you to navigate quickly through the different categories. Alternatively, you can hit the U key to go up a category. And you can always just select one by hitting the selection option and scrolling to it to see it a little bit better. Now, many of our videos can be purchased a la carte, meaning one at a time. But sometimes when you click on an object, it'll have other objects inside of it. So if I, let's say, um, unfold another object, I can click on this, and you can see that uh, we have several objects inside of our master object. Now, you have the option to purchase everything independently or all together. If you've recently purchased the Hip Tricks kit, for $115, and you'll notice that we'll be adding the third volume soon. You might actually see it now when you go to the store. Um, this third volume can be bought separately just by selecting it and adding it a la carte. Now, instead of having to buy the entire kit uh, again for a higher price, you can just buy the, in the one video for the price that it's actually set to. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and remove it from my cart. Uh, to close any one of these options, you can just click on the master object and fold it out again. And that's one way to navigate the store. Of course, there is one more way that we uh, can show you to navigate the store. And if you click on one of the upper topics here and select the list view, it actually gives you the option to select it uh, as a list view, which is kind of nice. Um, you might want to use this when you're using a smaller browser window. And to demonstrate that, I'll just go ahead and close this down. 
as you can see a nice list view that makes it a little bit easier to to watch um, we're going to add an additional view later on this year and of course none of that is going to cost you anything all updates to our system are free so you don't have to worry about that um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the registration process in order to purchase anything or watch any free materials or actually participate in a real-time chat you'll need to go ahead and register you could do so by going up to the very top menu item and clicking the register button if you select the register button you can go ahead and fill out this information and make sure to uh, agree to the CMIV effects terms of service otherwise it won't work I highly recommend adding your Twitter Facebook and um, we're going to be adding some other options in here this week so that you can use it inside of your chat communication portal. For now, I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, using an existing account. And you can see that I have an additional menu bar. You don't have to worry about this. This will not be available to you. So I'll just go ahead and scroll this up a little bit. So by default, this is what you're going to see when you have a full subscription. Everything is included in my subscription, so I can go ahead and hit the play button. But before we do that, we can go through and take a look at some of the other settings. Now this home function is going to be a messaging system uh, later on. So we just put that in here. Uh, feel free to look up here from time to time. We're going to be putting some messages up here uh, in the near future. I'm just going to minimize that for now and take a look at our settings. Now, the user preferences are only available in certain modules, so you'll have to uh, select that when possible. Now, we left that here because we're going to be adding some functions to the store. But again, inside of my videos, this is where you will be able to play all your videos, and you can look at it in list view or thumbnail view. Uh, for example, we'll go ahead and select the brand new flame video for now and what you'll notice is is that we are loading this video down to our computer this is actually being downloaded to our machine and you'll see that we had a loading time of 35 minutes we're applying our video stamp now uh, for security so that we don't have to worry about pirates and you can see that our videos are already starting to download now if I go into my settings button again you can see that we have a panel that actually is working now we can adjust the usability um, from here we can go ahead and select the UI transparency to remove some of the user interface uh, in case it's too bright or you don't like it we could also change all of our um, heads up displays so that they have a transparency as well we have the auto hide function uh, this is available when you want to uh, hide all the controls when you're in the middle of playing I turn that off and we also have a quality slider what this does is it actually allows you to load the uh, lower resolution for areas who have slow bandwidth we will be adding a higher resolution as well but we've noticed that uh, for the most part a lot of people are still struggling with the current bandwidths around the world now uh, the autoplay um, this is a function so if you turn this on it'll automatically play when you change the time period I like to go ahead and turn this off um, just to leave it at the defaults so we'll go ahead and turn that off for now and we'll take a look at some of the things down here um, we have the play button we have our maximize minimize we have our new chat button and we have our chapter uh, bookmarks so let's go ahead and take a look at the play function first we'll go ahead and hit play and you'll see that the time code is represented and I'm going to go ahead and just slide this forward because I don't want the volume to affect our recording you can see that we uh, have a complete uh, time control system here and if I went to the full screen button you can see that we uh, have a full screen option and I can go back and click off and this is going to bring up the HTML5 control bar so it's a lot of people who are interested in not using our player system can use either the pop out function which is going to give you uh, the same control of a typical HTML5 window so if you have any problems or any plugins that might be causing uh, HTML5 playback a lot of you guys might be using the DivX player you can go ahead and load it right into here now I'm going to um, just quickly demonstrate that you know by selecting an area of the video and up updating it'll update and play um, our volume again is super loud so I'm going to go ahead and turn that down now by selecting our volume slider and bringing that down now let's go ahead and go back to a video uh, I'm going to select let's say the Houdini dust and smoke video for now and it's going to go ahead and load into cache um, the loading has started estimated time 35 seconds I'm on a pretty fa fast connection so it usually doesn't wait that long and we're still on the uh, adding our hidden noise algorithm to the video 
Okay, so now uh, we have our playback, but let's say we want to uh, jump from chapter to chapter. If I hit play and make sure my volume's down, uh, we can jump to a specific chapter. And when we do so, you'll see that our chapter thing is up here and we're looking at that particular chapter now. So uh, we can jump to chapter to chapter anytime we want and it happens all in pretty real time. Once you let the video cache a little bit, um, the way HTML5 video works is it allows you to have pretty good performance overall. So uh, we chose this better than the streaming and uh, in the future we hope that the uh, streaming and the HTML5 com combination works even better and we'll be continuing our tests for that in the future. But let's say we want to add a bookmark. Uh, we can go ahead and just say, okay, let's roll our mouse down underneath the time bar and let's say right around here I'd like to create my bookmark. So I'm going to call this awesome and I'm going to go ahead and hit the check button and now whenever I want to uh, refer to it I can just come back and say okay yeah I'll just go back to my awesome and that's where my bookmark is now. So we can play from that part on. Um, we can also hide these items by simply clicking on this hide button here and we can go ahead and delete it by clicking on it and well actually uh, you don't need to delete that right now um, I actually have it set into the uh, the user preferences to go ahead and delete your bookmarks from there um, we've updated some things also uh, if you want to go ahead into the chat system you can go ahead and uh, continue to talk about different items in real time now so all these chat uh, will happen. If there's other people talking to you, you can go ahead and uh, type it in real time. For example, this is demo. I'm testing the chat system. I can go ahead and post new and now it's been updated. Um, go to the last post and you can see that this is uh, available. Now we are updating this all week. We're going to be having some uh, new information popping up in here so you're going to see some changes. If you have any bugs in the system, we encourage you to hit the contact us button here. And what that'll let you do is it'll bring you to a bug report system and you can go ahead and type in a short bug and the long bug and hit submit. And it'll go into our bug system uh, available to us located here. Now there aren't any bugs in the system today because we've already cleared them out. But I thought you might want to see that. Now um, the next thing we could do is you could take a look at your personal stats. Um, this is all the different stats that I've looked at. That's for me. Um, you, ha you guys have your own. Inside your profile, you might want to update some information. I uh, put my additional information in here and my avatar. Make sure that you update your avatar because that will let you guys uh, have a face when our chat system goes into full effect. Now you can use our current chat system, but we'll have a full-fledged chat system and job board shortly. We're working on that right now. So um, you could also uh, refer to our news and whenever we have some announcements we post them down here in our Twitter account and you can go ahead and also uh, type in your email address that you have registered if you've ever forgotten your username this is a new function as of today so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick little tour we have a bunch of new features coming uh, every single day we are working on something and uh, I hope to announce our new um, real-time chat system shortly it's been a long time coming but we want to make sure that we were able to let you guys trade files back and forth uh, chat in real time and also maybe invoke some VNC screen sharing and uh, yes yes that's true we we've already uh, done some research on the topic and we have an HTML5 beta working so we're very interested in showing you guys that as soon as possible in the meantime I'm going to be sending out some email blasts to you guys so that you guys have the uh, latest information and you guys can test for us. It's very important that you guys help us so that we can help you. And of course if you have any any requests for training go ahead and fire it all over. You can put it into the contact us section or you can just simply send it to info at cmivfx.com. Uh, thanks again and it was great talking to you.